Hello and welcome. Now in this video we're going to be talking about what you can do to organize your files or your PLR effectively and one of the things that you can do is you can actually tag your documents. We're going to take a look at doing that right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull open a file and it's going to be one that we're going to use as if we were actually doing this and you'll notice that the document or the folder is called PLR content and what we're going to do is I'm actually going to copy this folder into that file and one of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep your PLR in one, con in one folder mainly because it's going to help you to be able to search that folder effectively in order to find what it is you're going to be looking for. Now we can actually go one step farther and we're actually going to do that in this video. So here is our file and one of the things that we can do is we, we want to make a filing system that's going to make sense to us. Right? It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else and we're going to be the one searching the files. We're going to be trying to find different PLR in order to do different things. We want to make sure that our filing system works for us. And so you'll notice here that you've got some videos inside of here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this video. Now these videos are actually named video 1, video 2, video 3, video 4. So they don't necessarily have the name. Now of course one of the things that you can do right away is you can, you can actually size up these icons so that you'll be able to tell what the, the titles are and certainly you can change the titles of these videos so that when you're searching for something let's say you want to talk about a, di in a different product you want to talk about being an Amazon associate and you've got different videos from different products where well, you can actually go into this video and you can rename it right I can just call this how to get started as an Amazon associate now if you do that, one of the things you're going to notice right away is that's going to actually take that video out of order. And so what you can do in order to give your order back is you can always go and rename these files. In this particular case, I know this is video 3 if I'm doing this at the beginning. And what I can do is I can name this 003. And then, of course, I would need to name the rest of these 001, 002, 003. So one of the things I can do right away is I can change the name of the title of my video. Now, another way to do that is I can actually highlight all of these videos. I can open up my details pane. And you're going to notice these are all MP4 videos. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click. I'm actually going to go to the properties. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the details area. And one of the things you're going to notice here is I've got the ability to add tags. And so these tags are going to help me to be able to tag all of these videos at the same time. So at the very least, I'll be able to find them based on the way that I want to associate them with future projects. So if I want to start talking about Amazon and I'm going to want to uh, talk about uh, affiliate marketing. I can write in tags for these videos. And what's going to happen is these tags are now going to be searchable. And they're going to be searchable when I start doing my search for different content that I want to use. So I've taken the first step by organizing all of my PLR content into folders. Of course, in order to be efficient, I'm not going to take them out of the folders, but I can highlight each one of these videos and then I can actually then tag them all so that they'll be easy to search when I get ready to get some of my PLR in order to do a particular video. Now, I can actually do that for all the videos and I can actually do that for videos individually. So let's go into an, a video individually and let's tag just one of them. So I can actually go in, I can look at the properties, I can look at the details, and you'll notice here, okay, these tags are for Amazon and affiliate marketing. I can actually add a tag individually. And if I click OK, then that's actually now going to be a tag. 
right? So now this tag actually has three. So what's going to happen is every time that you add tags at the beginning, it's going to be a lot easier for you to find the content that you need based on the filing system that you want to do. Now, that does take some work. It does take some, some effort at the beginning, but it's actually going to save you time because when you actually go to look for what it is that you want, you're going to be able to do that. Of course, this is something that you can actually outsource. You can actually have someone tag these videos and all you'll have to do is just name the tags that you want and you'll put them on each side of each each inside of the folder each piece so that people are actually looking for what it is and we can actually go in and tag different files um, so that we have what it is that we need when we need it okay so that's one of the things that you can do to actually organize your content effectively so that it's searchable when you need it Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.